Let's get started with creating inventory UI. Add to the sprite to it. You can download this image within under this video. Resize and reposition. Add title inventory with text mesh pro UI. Change the title text. Set its font style and its size. Play around until you like it. Next, let's create a button to open this inventory. We position this button. Then add image right to it. Duplicate the title text and put it to button. Set its size and change its text to back. When press button, change its color to a darker orange. Copy this value and paste it to button. Next, let's add a script to contain visual scripting events. Name it Inventory Burden, then click Save. Inventory is inactive. We need to add it to a variable. This is the best way to show up an inactive object. Add event on button click. Get inactive inventory object from a variable. Add event game object set active. Set it to to turn it active. Now you can open inactive inventory when you press this button. To be able to turn on and off inventory, we add more event. Let's check game object get active. If it is inactive, turn it to if it's active, turn it false. Turn it false. The inventory can turn on and off with this button now. Next, let's create items in inventory. Name it item. Add image sprite to it. Group all items into an empty object, item list. Put item list on the top of this object. Add component, group layout group to item list. First, we need to set width and height of group item list duplicate more object item
you can set left or top path in from item list and spacing of each item. Let's create sitting of items, duplicate one more item and put it inside first item. Rename it to icon. I will set this the file image to none. Sort to middle and scale it smaller a little bit. You can try to put an item icon to it to see how it looks. Duplicate inventory title to create text amount. Put it into item and scale its size and its position. Edit its text until it looks OK. Delete orders. Set icons, default image to none, and set amount to inactive. You can convert this item to a prefab. Duplicate this item to fill our inventory. Now you have finished. Initial inventory UI with a button to open it. Next, let's create some items to add to inventory. If you have visual scripting plus, Use macro rotate to rotate them. To use macro rotate, step 1 copy macro rotate to object. Step 2 copy these variables. Step 3 paste them, edit variables. Done. Turn on auto start and add rotation speed. Y equal minus 100. Enable local rotation tool. Do the same with item border. Next video, we will add items to inventory or remove them. Please like and subscribe my channel to get more tutorials. Comment below what tutorial you want me to make in next video. Thank you for watching.